Hello everyone and welcome back to another plan with me video that we are doing in the classic vertical layout happy planner and we are just going to jump right into it. I am breaking in my new planner for the new year so I'm excited about that but we're just going to jump right into it. We are planning for the week of December 28th through January 3rd so we are going to take these pages out. And we're going to put this off to the side so that it'll make it easier to decorate. And we're going to get our sticker book. And this is the first time that I'm using a weekly kit by Capital Chic Designs. And I'm excited to use this because it is so cute. It's pink and it has a travel theme to it, but of course, I'm not traveling anywhere, but that's just the theme of this. So we are going to use this cute pink sticker kit. And we are going to get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is put down the day headers. They have some date covers in here, I believe, yes. They have these date covers that I'm going to just place over it. I'm not going to cover up the numbers and redo them. I'm just going to put down the days of the week. And I didn't measure this kit, but I think it will fit this happy planner. So let's see. It's a little bit crooked, but it fits the width of the rectangle perfectly. So that's good. And we're just going to put down the rest of these. I don't usually cover up these days because, well, I don't have any date covers. But also, I don't use a lot of weekly kits. These are usually only available in the weekly kits. But it does add something to the layout. I like it. That looks really nice. I like how each one has a different pattern. I just wish that these had more pink on them to match what Monday is, but they still look cute. can't believe how perfectly these are lining up. That's so exciting. The only issue is that I'm putting them down a little bit crooked. Let's see. That one looks nice. Thursday is a little crooked. That's better. And it started getting a little bit wonky. It goes a smidge over the line for Sunday, but I'm not redoing all these stickers, so we're gonna live with that. And that's how the date headers look so far. Then we are going to put down the bottom washi. I believe there are strips that will look nice on the bottom. Yeah, these ones with the black and white polka dot bowl, bows are super cute. So we're going to line it up with the edge, but we're going to hang it down so that it lines up with the bottom of the page. Like this.
perfect. It's a little bit crooked. Maybe it'll flatten out, well, hopefully. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. And it lines up perfectly with the edge of the page on either side. That looks cute. Then at the top, I have options. I could just leave it bare, leave it blank the way it is. Or I could put down this striped washi on one side and then No, I could use this pink washi. Let's do that. Let's use the pink and then they have these scalloped washi edges. I'm gonna use over them. Let's hope that looks good. So we're going to line it up right here at the line. And it goes to the edge of the page. I'm going to leave it that way, even though the days of the week don't go to the edge of the page. I'm just going to leave everything lined up that way. It's actually a tad bit long. Let's just cut that a little bit off. At the bottom also. There we go. Then we will do the same thing on the other side. And it does hang off a smidge, but that can easily be fixed. And then we're going to take the scallop edge and do it like this. Which way looks better with the scalloped edge or without on camera it's hard to see because it's so light but that's how it looks with the scalloped edge and this is how it looks without it I like it either way honestly I'll go ahead and put down the other one but if I end up not liking it I'll just take it back up but because what I could also do is put this down here at the bottom, like that. But we'll put it at the top since we already did that one. And then we just have to cut off the excess start putting down our stickers. Well, our other stickers. We are going to start with the weekend banner. And I love these gold accents on here. They 
are so pretty. So we're going to line it up. Like that. That looks so cute. That looks so nice. And then we are going to get into the full boxes. We will start with this one because this one looks cute. You know what I should do first is the sidebar because, well, okay, no, I'll just continue this way. I'm going to go for a no white space planning style this week. We're going to see if I have enough stickers for that. We are going to use this one that says you are enough. I'm going to put it right here at the top. And then this checklist we are going to put on Wednesday. That looks so nice. I am so excited. These stickers are so pretty. I didn't know I liked pink as much as I do, but I've been using pink all week and I love it. Absolutely love it. Then underneath we can use a checklist. Let's use this sticker that says important. checklist underneath it. Then we have room for probably two half boxes. This one says it's a fun day. So let's use this one on New Year's. This isn't um, a New Year's holiday spread, but we can note the holiday just by putting this on there. And what else? I'm not gonna be doing much on New Year's Day. But all of these are basically stickers that you could write in, which is good. I just wish they had more decorative stickers in here. Okay, so they don't have those. Let me go ahead and use the rest of these. We have this one we'll use under here. This one that says take notes, we're going to use here. Then let's use a to do sticker. Here, we are going to put this checklist underneath it.
with this girl in this half box under it. I don't think I would need all of these checklists though. That's a lot of bullet points. I'm not sure what I'm going to use all those for, but we will see. And let's see, we have room for room for a half box and then a hydration checklist a hydration tracker I mean so let's do I don't think I'll have that much to write on Thursday though is the thing because that's New Year's Eve so I'm hesitant to use another half box But I will. I'll use this other girl. Put her there. And then we have a hydration label. That I'll put at the bottom. And we have space for something else in between. I could just leave it like that. Or... I think I might just leave it like that. Even though having this gap here looks a little bit off. But let's work on that later. Let's continue this side. This says, today I will, and then there's room for a notes area. We're going to line it up there. And I think there is another hydration label. can use at the bottom like that under this one we are going to use a sticker that says important then do we have room for a checklist let's see no We have enough trackers for one, two, three, one, two, three, every weekday. And then the weekend, we don't have any. So let me just put those down. I tried tracking my hydration before and I kind of fell off track with it, but let's hope that having these stickers helps me stay on track. Let's put this last one here on Friday. Then this don't forget we will put down here then we're going to use this pink scalloped box underneath like that and then we're going to use this scalloped box underneath here 
We're going to use this girl underneath here. Is that straight? Yeah, that's pretty straight. And we're going to use this straight one here. Let's use this striped one on Sunday. With this girl underneath it. put this one on a little bit crooked because this one yeah this one is a little bit crooked let's see that's the problem with the no white space planning is that if it's crooked you will easily be able to tell because that there will be white space in between. That's still not perfectly straight, but that's straight enough. Let's use this girl on Saturday. And this one underneath it. We have another big box we will put here on Saturday. Oops. We have this one with the scalloped header. We will put underneath there. Ooh, I have to wipe this out because it doesn't cover the line. And then the only thing I can think of is to put a checklist here, which might be too big. Let's see what else do we have. Bill do, no. Appointment, no. I do have one on the 29th. Let's use this one here. Let's use this box right here. And then let's see, we have this one that could probably fit down here. Perfect. Then we have this one that says get it done, we'll use down here just to cover up that white area. This one that says let's party, we'll use it for New Year's Eve. Make it happen, we'll use for New Year's Day. Oh, 
Oh, you know what? Let's move this off before it sticks down too well. And let's let's try to use this one. No, let's put this one back down here. Because I need to find another place to use that one. And we are going to put this header And this sticker in between like that so New Year's Eve New Year's Day are done I just need something for these two we're going to put this checklist let's hope it fits right here it doesn't but if I Take this sticker up a little bit and I'll put it on top in between like that. I'm liking it so far and then we just need something for here which might have to be one of these. Perfect. Oh, the sidebar. I totally forgot about the sidebar. We are going to use this Monday through Sunday tracker. I usually use this for meal planning, but this is my personal um, planner, not my health and wellness planner. So I don't know what I'm going to use this for, but I'm going to track something. I usually track my meals in my health and wellness planner. Maybe I will track journal prompts or something like that because this is my personal planner that I do a little bit of journaling, a little bit of planning. So we'll see what I use that for, but I'm definitely going to put that there. Then we have these other trackers, which I'm definitely going to use. I need to find a header for this though, because it doesn't have a header. Unless I just leave white space open to, yeah, I'll just leave a space um, in between so that I can write down what this tracker is for. And then we'll put this one above it. Like that. And then I could write in between there. It's not going to look the best, but that's really the best that I could do. Let's put this straight notes area. And then Let's see, maybe I'll put this one. And then there's a sticker that says, plan ahead. So we're going to put this down here. And then I still have room to write above the tracker. Let's just put a little bit of glue. The sticker that I took up is not sticking perfectly. So let's put some glue 
down on the edge. And hopefully that sticks down. But we are done. So let's put this back into our planner and take a final look. And this is what we are left with. I love this kit. This weekly sticker kit by Capital Chic Designs. I got it at Michael's. So if you like this spread or if you like the stickers in this um, sticker kit, I suggest going to Michael's and getting it because it is super cute. It is so pink. I love it. Um, I love the date headers. I like this bottom washi with the bows on it. I love the girls that she used. They are fire. And I really just like how this turned out. It was a little bit tedious putting down all the individual stickers, but I enjoyed the process and I love it. I, I really love this. And it looks nice with the gold discs in the middle, girl. This spread is it. I like it and I hope you like it too and I hope you like this video but that's all I have for you today thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye